Local music leader is launching a new music education program for children here in Lexington. Joining me now to talk about that is UK music professor Michael Priestley. So thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. So tell us all about Uniting Voices Lexington. Absolutely. What well, Uniting Voices Lexington is a new group that I just received a $50,000 grant from the Better Together Foundation and the Black Prosperity Initiative uh, here in Lexington to start an organization that's built around my experience that I had in Chicago with the formerly Chicago Children's Choir, now called Uniting Voices Chicago. Um, I was in that group when I was in high school, and um, I had an amazing time just meeting people from all walks of life, having the, um, the opportunity to travel all around the world. I actually was in South Africa two years post-apartheid, sang at Nelson Mandela's home, um, had a wonderful time shaping who I am as a musician and ultimately as a global citizen. And I knew what my experience was like then, and I wanted the children of Lexington to experience that now. Why was Uniting Voices Lexington something you really wanted to bring to the community? You know, my, my son, he's a current student at SCAPA, School for Creative and Performing Arts uh, Bluegrass here in Lexington. He's in seventh grade. Well, I've had the pleasure of seeing him and my oldest son, uh, Joshua, who's actually a senior at Carter G. Woodson High School. They have been in the arts pretty much their entire time here in Lexington. We've been here for about 15 years. And I've had a chance to really witness the youth and the different things that they're involved in. And I'm a part of a lot of different communities in Lexington. And one of the things that I saw a lot of is the, um, the separateness or the segregation. I don't want to use that word, but it's true in a lot of words, because when you segregate, you put this person here, this group here, that group there, so on and so forth. And I really, I didn't have that in Chicago Children's Choir. And so I felt that something like that could really benefit our community here in Lexington. Hence the vision and starting Uniting Voices Lexington. And so how can children get involved? Well, um, they can get involved several ways. Um, this weekend, uh, actually tomorrow, we have a free music workshop. It's not necessarily a Uniting Voices Lexington recruiting, if you will, event. It's more an event where students can all come together, learn music and have a great time, um, and also get a chance to sing with Voices of Chicago, which is a group of the Uniting Voices Chicago organization. They're gonna be here and do a joint concert. So that's one way uh, to get more information about what we're doing. Also, as we move forward in our process, uh, we have, we're singing in a couple of churches on Sunday, uh, Voices of Chicago, and also we'll talk about some things on Monday and Tuesday. But ultimately, we'll be getting information of all types of kids who are interested in joining this exciting new uh, organization. And we'll start in the summer with the summer workshop, and then we'll launch in the fall. Well, thank you so much again for being here today. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Imani. Appreciate you. Yeah, and for more information, visit our website. That's fox56news.com.